Well, it is a strange site in Brevard County. Some are even calling this site biblical. Uh, the city of Cocoa Beach is dealing with its canals turning red. Officials now say they know what's causing it. News 6's James Barbero has the results of the latest test, all new at 5.30. You don't need to be a scientist to see what's happening in this canal is not normal. Water experts say the bright red algae is not toxic, but neighbors are skeptical because we're finding dead fish. I've been here 40 years, and this is going to be probably one of the worst seasons we have as the weather warms up. Rising temperatures and an overabundance of nutrients, another deadly, in this case, bloody combination for the Indian River Lagoon. This is very sad. Clearly fish are dying. Clearly, it's right in front of us. Janet Hosmer watched these canals near downtown go from clear to murky, from blue to red. Each year it has gotten worse and worse. It's disgusting. There's not a lot of circulation in those areas of the lagoon. University of Florida researchers tested the water and say it's not toxic. But when the red algae blooms out, it deprives oxygen, just like brown tide. That could explain dead fish floating in what looks more like a lifeless punch bowl than one of the world's most biodiverse ecosystems. Systems. What other color could the lagoon possibly turn? We've seen blue, green, brown, now red. We've seen, you know, all the colors of the rainbows over the years, but there's always been blooms in the lagoon. We really need to focus on cleaning our lagoon. As the county debates more ideas and collects tax dollars, neighbors want results and they want them now. Open the locks, flush out our systems. We desperately need to take care of our environment. In Cocoa Beach, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.